Hey boys and girls, today we have a little bit of a lesson, a little lesson about cannibalism. Has that neighbor been looking pretty good lately? Well, today we're going to learn how to cook your neighbor. Now, <laughs> sorry. Now, really, uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, preparing for an upcoming RP event. Uh, pretty exciting stuff whenever they come up, but there are some tricks you can do to help make that uh, go a lot smoother for you. Uh, of course, you know about the grinding for doing your dungeons and skirmishes to get those astral diamonds built up, and get some of those seals of the adventure for those lower level dungeons. I'm going to start building those stacks and enchantments up so you can do your refining, of course. So, one thing I do as soon as one event's over, I start getting stacks of these. You can see I've already got some going here. But, uh, when you do those little runs, you go ahead and grab some of those. I like to do either Temple of the Spider, of course, and uh, the other basic one, the Cloak Tower. It goes back and forth. Sometimes this is faster, sometimes this is faster. The Cloak Tower is a little bit faster time-wise overall, uh, on average, so you usually run it. Um, but make sure you get those seals of the, the adventurer cashed in right there because uh, those stacks do add up. Now another thing I like to do is go to my character. This happens to be my main character right now. Uh, he's my favorite and I've been building him up. But uh, you kind of want to check out what you have and uh, think about what you want to do with it. Uh, like in this particular guy's instance, I want to get all of his enchantments up to rank 10. Uh, as you can see, a lot of my artifacts, I already have these two at Mythic. Uh, these two are just about ready to go. <laughs> so I just haven't bothered to take it to the next level. And then, of course, my artifacts, artifact weapons, are already maxed out. So I don't have any more upgrading to do on those. Uh, but I do have enchantments that need to go up. Kinda. So what I'll do, I'll go through each of the enchantments that I want to upgrade. And uh, if I could go into those, take a look at it, uh, find out what I need at the next level. So here I know I need another uh, Dragon Sword enchantment plus uh, Greater Mark of Potency. So I'll start making a quick list of these so I know how many I'll have total. And I'll just go down each one. This is so, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, especially for new players, uh, you might not be aware of this uh, or think about this. Then I'll go down for each of these when I upgrade these. Other, in order to upgrade this one, I'll need another Lesser Forge and another one of those. And go back in. My Azure rank 9, I'd need another rank 9. And so and I'll go on down through everything that I want to upgrade for the next period. And uh, that way I know how many of each of these I'll need. Uh, I think I'll know. I like to do the upgrades. I don't usually buy rank nines. I usually make my own. So I'll go. I will buy rank eights, however, and, uh, and I'll convert those into rank nines. So, so once I get my list together, then I'll go and uh, start checking over here at the auction house. Let's think if I want to check some of those rank eights. And voila, they're running at 51,000. That's a little on the high side. I usually like to buy those down around 40, 43 to 45,000 astral diamonds. Uh, but that's still not too bad, I guess. I could probably stomach that. But anyway, what you want to do is start checking the prices on these because these prices start going up and down. Uh, whenever they get to the price point that you need them, then obviously you buy them. You don't want to wait till right before the event to go picking this stuff up because the prices do spike. Um, now they do sometimes drop on the last day or two of the event because everybody runs out of Astral Diamonds. So if, you, if you're not too excited and you just hold off a little bit. Uh, but then again, sometimes they don't. And I found it's better just to go and buy this stuff throughout the month. That way you're not uh, caught short on it. In case something else comes up along the way, then uh, you can go ahead and you're not struggling right at the end to, <laughs> to get this stuff. Now another thing you want to do is... Um, I've been doing these dungeon runs to get those stack of enchantments, but uh, I want to start checking my rank 5 enchantments 
I'll start looking for stacks of these. I want stacks of 99 to do my refining. I'm not even seeing any here right now. But uh, during the refining period, they'll go up to pretty easily get to a thousand apiece on these rank fives. But uh, 300 is a decent price. So I can start buying stacks individually. And I got to keep clearing my email out. But you can do that. If you don't have a lot of Astro Diamonds, it's not, not that big of a deal. Uh, just get to a point, price point you're comfortable with and start buying them. And uh, of course, they will stack in your inventory. And then you can re -meet, uh, mail them to yourself uh, so they're not sitting in your bags. But uh, then I'll go to rank six, rank seven, rank eight, and I'll keep pricing those out. Like a rank six, so a rank six will give you 2160 in refinement points. Uh, rank five will give you, and it doubles on a double RP event. Uh, rank five will give you about 500. Rank sevens will give you 43.20, then it doubles to about uh, 86.40 in a double RP event. Rank eights are, uh, will give you 26,000 in a double RP event, and so on. But you want to keep checking the prices on those so you can kind of get the best deal. I like to spot check it. I don't do it every day because it gets to be a little tedious when you do it that way. Rank sevens are pretty good. That's not bad at 2,200 for a rank seven. But uh, you can you can do the math on that uh, as they go up and down. Usually, to give you a rough idea, uh, for a rank five stack of 99, I will pay about I don't like to pay any more than 34,000 for those. I like to pay about uh, 32, 32 to 34,000. Uh, they were going up to around 42,000 in the last uh, two times RP event for the PC. I don't know how it is for you guys on the Xbox and console. But uh, anyway, that's just a little strategy for you. And I started building the stacks early again, so I'm not caught short. Now, another thing, obviously, you need are those wards. Uh, lately, the prices for the PC have been down on those, but uh, I like to start getting those a little bit early. It's not like they, you know, don't use them, so it doesn't hurt to start stacking up on those. I usually buy them 10 at a clip. But uh, I like to do my dungeon runs with my alts, at least the basic dungeon run. That's just something really good I want. 52,000 is not too bad. So go ahead and buy a stack of that. I'll go through and I'll do that for each, each of my characters. I have eight that I run pretty regularly, but I'll go ahead and do that. And that will give me, of course, 80 words pretty quick. And if the price spikes on them, then uh, <laughs> I'm not stuck short. And of course you can always sell them if the price jumps an extra fifteen or twenty thousand. Don't forget you have those auction fees though too. I have a level 12 VIP so I don't get quite as uh, much of a ding as those of you with a lower VIP. I'll go through and do that with each character. I'll go through and buy a stack of those things. It's not as painful doing it that way, at least for me. Somehow it feels better not buying it all with one character. I don't know why it's a silly thing, but uh, <laughs> it's my hangout. And I'm back down to another alt. These usually float between 48 and 55,000 for the PC. So I'm not doing a great price, but uh, I'm just doing this for the video. It's a little higher. I'd probably normally wait a couple days to get these, but uh, I just don't care. I don't want to wait. Uh, I wanted to get this up for you guys. I know you console players have a 2XRP event coming up so I wanted to make sure I got this done for you to help you out a little bit and I'm down to my cleric you can kick some in too <laughs> I'm 
Oops, I keep doing that. Sorry about that, guys. I meant to do this earlier in the day and I got busy. Like I said, you can have, never have too many of these words. They don't go to waste. Now, most, I realize a lot of you don't have a bunch of uh, level 70 characters that you grind, uh, so that's not realistic. But the main point of this is, is to buy, start buying this stuff early. It makes your life so much better. Okay, another thing I needed on there, beside the rank 8s and the other items, the wards, were the greater marks of potency. Uh, a couple ways of getting that. Come to this little dude. The Wondrous Bazaar. You can buy them from her. Again, I have VIP, so I get a little bit of a discount. I can get uh, one for 18750. You can buy it here. Um, you can go to the top of your screen, click, click on this. You also have it there, so you can also buy it here on the fly that way. But before you do that, I always like to double check the auction house. Because if I can get it cheaper there, obviously I will. Pull that up. Now right there I've got one for 18000 so I'll go ahead and grab that. Let's see, 37.5 is my cutoff. Yeah, these are a little under that, so I'll go ahead and grab a couple of those. So anyway, I need to stack those. Not do that with my alts too. So I got my wards. Getting my greater marks of potency. Pretty cool stuff. That way it's all done. See I got a little bit of a discount but by buying them now. Obviously if I wait till the event starts, they're gonna go up in price. Now I have, like I said you have that VIP discount uh, you can usually get them cheaper than what you can get on the auction house but it's nice to be able to save a little bit that way. At least I like to save it. I mean, you do all that grinding. <laughs> Might as well save it where you can. Lots and lots of grinding. And of course, all of my alts carry all this extra stuff. You can see I have some stacks going in all of the alts that I have. And um, I'll primarily funnel these up to my primary character. Now, of course, you have one other thing to do, too. If, if you're going to do all that refining, um, don't waste them, especially if you want to do your artifact refining. What you want to do is go and find yourself some feeder artifacts. I have some other videos on that. Uh, other people have done those, too. I mean, they're out there. But uh, it's foolish just to waste stacks of those enchantments without... Uh, getting your feeder artifacts, so make sure you take the time to go and look. I need uh, this guy. He's in too bad shape. He needs, uh, I think, a couple artifacts of power, so you start chopping for those early, too, because, again, you definitely don't want to do that the day you need them, because they usually do go up. And I'm looking for an artifact of power. Power, we want power. Somewhere in here. Wow. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of clicking. All right, there we go. Lantern of Revelation. Pretty nice little artifact. If you didn't get that at your uh, level 20, you should make sure you get one of those. But uh, there we go. I've got one for 70. You can go ahead and buy that for him. And uh, I've got a nice little feeder artifact for this guy. You can see I have this one. It's a power artifact. This is a power artifact. And uh, so I want to feed that into one of those. 70 is not a bad price for a power artifact of power. So I'll go ahead and get that. I should probably get a couple of those for a couple of my characters. But uh, you'll definitely want to go through that for any of the uh, characters you want to upgrade. That way you have them. Because, again, those prices will go up during the RP event. Especially the artifacts power, they do seem to spike a little bit. I mean, you know, it used to, a few months back, they were going up around a couple hundred thousand. But uh, I don't think 
I saw them go up over 130, 140 this last uh, last RP event that the BC had. Okay, so I spend time buying all that stuff throughout the time period. And then, of course, I get my leadership profession going. And I do that with, uh, you do that, you know, you don't need eight characters to do it. Do it uh, with your stock four that you have. But uh, make sure you get that leadership profession up there. And uh, then you can start uh, making a payoff for yourself. You can make your own resonance bags. This will give me uh, different quality resonance stones. And these artifact uh, paraphernalia bags, the enchanted coffers, they're just things I choose to make. But uh, I hit these a couple times a day with each of my characters. And believe me, I get a ton of these things by the time an RP event comes up. It's a nice way to save lots of astral diamonds, too. <laughs> Just don't want that one. There we go, I want that one. These allow me to create, uh, it's random, but uh, get minor power stones, lesser power stones, or a power stone. Uh, very Varying quality union stability stones. You see, there are different levels. You have the white, green, and uh, blue. I usually do these uh, mainly just because you get two at a time. Runs over a longer period, but uh, saves me from having to click quite as often. It's the only reason I choose those over some of the others. These are nice too. Again, they take 12 hours though. I kind of rotate them. I'll have different characters making different stuff. Like I've got a couple that will make the uh, make these as well. And other people like to do the different chests too and stuff. But I just like to stick with these. I can use them or sell them. So I mean, they definitely don't go to waste. If, if if you didn't know, when you create these, these are unbound, so you can sell these on the auction house, which is really nice. Or you can you have them there for your personal use. It's uh, less house for diamonds, less grinding that you have to do for yourself in order to sell this stuff. So I hope that was a little bit helpful. Uh, it's not rocket science there, but um, you know we buy early, buy it out over the uh, time period between events. Uh, you can save a lot of astro diamonds that way. It's just how I do it. Um, you can, it, it, it does save a lot, trust me, to do it that way. Pick out what feeder artifacts you need. Uh, do it all early. Uh, that way you can watch the prices go up and down. And um, trust me, you'll you'll thank me. It, it's simple advice, but uh, it will make a big difference to you. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry it really wasn't about cannibalism. That would have been uh, much more much different episode but uh oh well whatever have a good night and like share and subscribe